Once again then, who will get the whole shot? Etienne Bax is over on the right. He's going to push hard. Marvin van Lukena from that left-hand side again. Another flying start. prima has gone with him this time. Prima and Marco Heinzer. Marco Heinzer's in there in one, two, three, four, fifth place. Is that the Lille Bardis boys? That's Davy Sanders. Davy Sanders, Luke Rostang, the number nine, who had a not a good race in the first time, a DNF. So that wasn't good for them. They've got to make amends. They've got to protect their seventh place in the championship. But I'm doubtful that's going to happen. Out in front, though, an absolute flyer by the newly crowned 2023 champions. There they are, jumping clear with white shirts on, emblazoned with a number one. So the T-shirts had all been printed. Etienne Bax secretly told me that. He said, well, I think they've got all the merchandise. They're here to win it. He said, I'm here to stop them. But it didn't go his way in race one. Never mind, Etienne. We know what you're made of. There's Sanders. There's Pruma. There's Stefan Weiss. There's Heinzer. Kerben in there as well. Prunier and the Lille Bardis boys. So two pairs of brothers going neck and neck here into these ruts. This is absolutely brilliant. I've had a... Fantastic season. All 14 rounds of it. The travelling's been tough. The lengths and breadth from the Baltics all the way down to the Iberian Peninsula where we kicked off. Jano Stegman's a quick look over the shoulder as Heinzer. Heinzer with the left hand chair really fighting well. Imminent father to be, Marco Heinzer. Wife Anna at home. Uh, rather large and portly, due to give birth on the 9th of October. We wish her well. We wish everyone well in this sport. The paddock is one massive, massive family. Etienne Bax, Andre Chermak have had another problem. They're in trouble again, and they're deep, deep down in the traffic now, fighting for survival. I'd say Rudy Bitchart, meanwhile, have broken free of Davy Sanders. And Pruma, there's Kerbin. These have been scrapping all season. And uh, I said in uh, in qualifying, I think one of the most improved riders was Justin Kerber. You have to include Tim Prumer on that list as well. Tim Prumer, the young German, has really, really grown into his boots this season. Consummate professional. Sadly, we will not see him in the nation's competition because Germany are not fielding a team. A little bit of domestic politics, I think, and less lack of finance getting in the way of Germany participating in the Sidecar Cross of Nations. Uh, more than that, I cannot say. Oh, Brett Wilkinson and Joe Millard, first sight of them with backs fighting through. It looks like Brett was having a bit of a struggle getting up over that jump over and out of the turn. Not so Heinzer, not so Kerber, not so Sanders, and not so Prunier. Uh, who's now got in front of the Leobardis boys. Again, you see, one-way traffic, there's nowhere to pass on those tight turns. The ruts determine where they go. The only place they can overtake is where the track widens out and you've got the hard pack. They can take advantage of that and make a move over the jumps if they've got enough momentum. Kerben and Prunier. Prunier boys having a great, great first full season in the World Championship. Promise for them, double French champions, I remind you. Concluded that title. Oh! <laughs> that was a bit of a nudge by Kerbin who put the Prunier boys in the deep stuff. That happens, that's like a cross. We've all done a bit of that. And uh, up in the hand, in the air with the hand of Justin Kerbin saying, sorry guys, I really didn't mean to do that. You've got to take the Dutchman at his word that he did not mean to do that. He ran a bit hot and Prunier was the innocent victim, if you like, of that. But Kerben is a force to be reckoned with. Neil Bardis and Bax. Bax looking across to make sure his progress up the field is going to be continued. He's fighting through. It looks like he's now up to about fourth place, maybe fifth, can't rightly say, but ahead of him, he's got uh, Kerben, they're the race leaders, Marvin Van Lukena, Unicrown champion, seeing Nicolas Mousset absolutely thrilled on home ground to lift 
Busset's third title and Marvin's second. Prunier and Pruma. Quite easy to confuse the names, but they are neck and neck. And Prunier getting the verdict here ahead of the German-Belgian pairing. Brett Wilkinson down in eighth place now, but doing enough to hold his fourth in the standings, which will be a personal best for him and carry him into the new season in a strong position. But he'll still, if I know Brett, carry the 199, I'm sure. That has become synonymous with them. They can opt to choose their number. They don't have to go for the number. As you've seen, Bax carrying number 82 throughout pretty much, well, his career, as long as I've known him, that's for sure. On the back now of Prunier. Bax and Prunier. Yep, job done. Etienne Bax, Andre Chermac up over the top and uh, you heard in the interview if you've seen the whole uh, program that um, he's been experimenting again with the Televort system maybe we'll see that appear in look at that a kiss for the bike in 2024 but Marvin Van Lukeno Nicolas Mousset double victory just as they started the season the double here 50 points just to wrap it up and put the icing on the cake runners up Marco Heinzer there it is confirmed then, Van Lukele from Heinzer. What a brilliant result for them. Etienne Bax made it up to fourth behind Kerben. Brunier ahead of Pruma. Kuhn Hermans battled through to seventh. Well, that's salvaging something. Neil Bardis, Hamar rounding out the top ten.